What's up, everyone? Welcome not to Cooking with Jib. Me and my buddy, Matt, we're doing a new series on my Cooking with Jib YouTube channel called, uh, well, we well, are. We, we are the, the Brutiful, Brutiful Boys. Boys. Brutiful Boys. We don't know much about beer, no. but <laughs> hey, you know. Brutiful. We, I mean, we're basically drinking bros, so. We've just tried a different bunch of types of beers and figured that we might as well review it's some. A, it's a good premise. Yeah, it's right. a good premise. No, it's not. <laughs> Start with that first beer, and right? I. This is their Christmas ale. You know, it's a um, get in the holiday spirit. <laughs> it's an ale with spices and honey. So, let's go ahead and get a pour in. Don't judge us on uh, the pours. Our our pours. They're gonna be trash. Well, mine is. Oh, I think this one's gonna be good. Mine. I think this is, one's gonna be good. Mine is a little bit, little, little bit of sweetness, just a tad bit. That, that Not honey, too much. The honey yeah. is coming through definitely. The head's staying pretty, pretty good. You got a pretty so, decent. Yeah. It's kind of like spice, sweet, then spicy. Spice. Yeah. Like, it, it's all there's there's a little bit of grassy happiness. Like well, you yeah, said. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, it, a little bit, not a lot, not a lot. It's very, yeah, kind of dry, which makes me think of hops. It could be just, just the spices, but uh, yeah. that honey definitely helps it. Definitely a little bit of sweet honey, a little bit cinnamon. ASMR <laughs> lager. Stout. We, we've had this beer a lot. We kind of know what it tastes like, so let's go ahead and just kind of. Uh, give it our opinion, you know. I give it a <laughs> burp. Oh, burp count. I give it a partially broke Christmas bulb. I like it. It is a very classic uh, Northeast Ohio beer, but um, it's a little too heavy on the spice for me, but I will drink this every day of the week type deal. I, uh, I, I'm the complete opposite. I like 10 out of 10 poorly drawn Christmas trees. It's it's my favorite Christmas ale. I'm not a big fan of Christmas ales, and if I had to pick one to drink forever, it'd probably be Great Lakes Christmas Ale. So, so you're getting six pack. Well, yeah, for sure. Like I, I, I'd buy six pack. I'll, I'll, I'd drink this anytime, but um, <laughs> it's just still like, oh no, maybe we did over. But yeah, I mean, I, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. On to the next. What do we got? Uh, what do we, what do we have? Uh, Budweiser Copper Lager. Oh, no, these are higher percentage than their regular Budweiser. Yeah. Special edition. I think we forgot to mention that Copper Lager is Jim Beam. Oh, oh my goodness, yeah. It was, uh, aged in Jim Beam barrels, so they just took Budweiser and put them in Jim Beam barrels, basically. I don't know how long, it doesn't say... So like smelling it, it smells. It's just strong. Kind of caramely. You're right about like that. a slight, like like a sweeter caramely, sugary. You you definitely it's get that more Jim Beam. It's you get more, that Jim. Yeah, you definitely smell the, a little yeah. bit higher alcohol. Yeah. Especially if you if you drink Budweiser, it's definitely going to smell a it's, higher it, alcohol. It's, yeah, it's not gonna just uh, smell like your traditional Budweiser. It tastes like. Oh, I tell it's it's it okay. hits you like well, I'm no banana expert, but it does kind of smell like bananas. I don't. It, it tastes metallic. It tastes does it not? You think it, it kind of has? It kind of. I'm gonna say I don't have to. I don't really agree on that. Like you could definitely tell it was aged in a barrel. Yeah, you can. Yeah, it, like it, with it, most it barrel like barrel aged things, like you, they all have that smoky. specific flavor. Comparing uh, that to like just how it's like kind of like after you, after you take a shot. You know, like you kind of get that lingering alcohol, you know. Yeah, you like do. The, like the, just yeah. the sensation of yeah. that lingering, heavier I mean, alcoholic it's good. taste. It's good. It makes me feel happy. Right. During the summertime, a nice hot day, something like this is awesome. It's. There you go. Another one. Another one. Another one. The, f <laughs> the fact that it's Budweiser 
in Jim Beam, I mean, it just kind of tastes like what you would think it would. I would like to put and it's like metallic. regular Budweiser like next to this, just to just kind of taste uh, the differences. Count it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, yeah, maybe that's something in the future. I, I I give it like an eight out of ten toxic barrels. <laughs> just because. Oh, okay, I got it. Seven out of ten licking <laughs> lucky pennies. Because it has, oh, I get it has what a you're coppery I get what you're flavor saying. to it. Like it's the, you're licking you're licking a lucky penny, but it definitely still has that metallic taste. So I'd say no. <laughs> so would you buy a six pack? No, I would not. No. It's not a it, it's not a regular pickup. This is like a a once in a while. Once one there, there's a bonfire going on. Yeah, yeah. That's what Next beer. Oh, I gotta get my mustache. 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 My mustache. Oh, sweet Jesus. Sweet, sweet beer. Oh, yeah. Next beer. So this is yet again another Cleveland, Cleveland, beer. Cleveland beer. It is a Leatherhead IPA. Now, okay, so. The whole reason I decided to pick this one up for this video is because I almost bought a six pack of this a while ago and I decided not to. I decided to go with like a seasonal beer, right? But I seen this at the store and I was like, you know, just right off the bat, just looking at that kind of caught my attention. You know, as a Cleveland Browns fan. There you uh, go. That kind of, I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't I didn't even intentionally, you didn't even intentionally do that. This is just what I wear <laughs> all the time. Let's uh, open it let's up. give it that little. Give it. Our first can. Yeah, uh, first it's can gonna get that video. pop. No, no pop. No pop. It's not gonna top it off. Here. It's gonna fit. It's gonna fit. It's gonna fit. Okay, so I didn't pour it the best. Me neither. But on top of that, it just doesn't look like it has I, uh, much. Of I can smell it from here. And I can already tell that it's that, pretty that good. Is like, it, it's strong. It's a lot. It's very super. aromatic. Oh yeah. I mean. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's very very grassy. Very it grassy. smells grassy. Oh. That's where it's at right there. That's pretty fucking good. Nah. This is a good beer. I like IPAs though, so. There's a lot going on. I don't even I can I don't know what to, how it's, to describe like what I'm getting at at first. I I know. Like, it's it's it earthy. Almost. I guess. Okay. I put it as earthy. It, that's it what I, that's what I down. meant by drinkable. Like it's a very it's really really drinkable. Like it's not a punch to the teeth. It it smells a lot more robust than it actually tastes. Yeah, and and the smell is what's kind of carrying the flavor. I, yeah, I, I, I would say. Yeah, it tastes like wet grass. It tastes like grass that garden hose. That's what it tastes like. It tastes water like water out of a garden hose. Like a you're, garden you're a kid, hose, you're drinking out of that garden like hose. Like you're on a slip and slide, and you get that fucking grass in your mouth. You, you, right. you go head first 100%. into that water. You got grass that's going down the slip and slide. That's what it tastes like almost. It tastes like that. Like that's it. When I'm drinking it, the more I don't think I'm liking it. I think the just the first initial taste of it is just throwing me off. <laughs> And now I think I'm actually liking it more. That's so the weird. The more I that I drink it. That's so weird. Not, um, uh, there you go. Burp alert. They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because uh, they would never understand. I'm just staring off in the space. I don't, I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, I'm lost, too. Like, what, what, what do you rate this beer? I, I give it a... Three out of ten fucking hop nose frowny faces. <laughs> I I will I, I, I'm gonna give it a one out of two. One out of two. One one out of two to f sad deflated footballs. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> um Yeah. Uh this is definitely I, I don't think I'd drink this at a bar or even buy a six pack of it. I'm sorry. Like it might taste I'm not, I'm the not biggest buying fan. Six pack. I'm not the biggest fan at all. Mm, kind of let down. No. I don't, something it's almost nice. tasting like an old baseball mitt. And to the next <laughs> one. <laughs> Alrighty, so we have our next beer. Alright, what do we got here? 
Fulton War and Peace Imperial, Co Imperial Coffee Style. 9.5 percent. Yeah, it's all. It's gonna be a strong one. Ordinary guys brewing extraordinary. Beer. I I like stouts. I do so too. I'm, I have high hopes. Oh, there oh it my goes. god. Okay, so that the head is so good. Yeah, it's very. I, I have a. You want to talk about coffee? I'm very bad at it. It it it. it and it's got a, um like a oh my god dude that's 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 just brewed freshly brewed coffee right there it's just ground ground dude it's it, it has that earthiness and yeah it. yeah, like yeah that, the that bean that just the bean, bean. that's the not. bean <laughs> it's got the <laughs> bean <laughs> all right so uh let's review a beer Wow, that's good. Um, 100% black Arabica coffee is what that is. <laughs> it has that bitterness in the back of the jaw. It has that lingering kind of like it's caramely, it's, uh, dark roast on the back of the tongue. I mean, it's it's, it's been yeah. Roast. It's not even complicated. It's just that's what it is. It's a good beer. That's money right there. That's that's how you make a. Uh, a coffee stuff. And now it's Imperial. So if you guys don't know what Imperial means, it means they're making this with the best ingredients they can that they the can. Best out of best. Yeah, yeah, like what they kind of consider to be the their best. best. Out of the best. Whenever. Um, I I never heard of this brand until today. Yeah, exactly. Me uh, very, you know, round of applause to them. Oh. Oop. I came up with a theory. Like, I was thinking earlier. <sighs> Cats, sure. do they have AIDS? <laughs> <laughs> Are you dying? Are you dying? Where's Vinny? I need this. I need Vinny for this. I think Gats can get Vinny's it. a fucking asshole. This dude tries to bite my foot every night. Oh my god! I'm gonna. Alright, so what do? What, uh, let's. Oh god! <laughs> do you have AIDS? <laughs> Hey, come on, buddy. Come on. Let's finish. Let's finish up this beer. I give this a solid eight out of ten bean flicking. Cause it's made out of coffee beans. I I give this a ten out of ten. Can't beat a freshly brewed pot of coffee. I mean, ten out of ten. Ten out of solid. ten. Solid. Solid. Ten. Solid. Two. Solid. F fuck you. What are you doing right now? <laughs> Uh, solid. Would I get a four pack? Yes. Um, uh, and we gotta drink it all in one night. Yeah, no, but no this way. is this is dump, definitely something I'll get. Drink two of them back to back, and then maybe have one in the morning. I breakfast. agree, one hundred percent. I would I would buy a four pack. Maybe make some breakfast with it. You know, just have a beer for the the the, the beginning of the morning. Just. I, it would go good with a everything. Nice day off where I'm doing yeah, nothing. It would go. It's awesome. So. You heard our review. On to the next and final beer, which is somewhat of a surprise Random. beer. Whatever beer we have hanging around. Uh, a hey, sick. hang around, hey. <laughs> we'll roll the next one. Alrighty, guys. So here's our random beer. The Yammy Yammy. Roll it. So it's... Uh, it's a sweet potato ale. It's supposed to be spicy, and we'll crack split this bad boy this open. Guy. We'll, we'll just split it and um, seven point seven. Kind of, kind of see how it. How that it is goes. a ton of ingredients. I'm just saying. There's a lot. One, two, three, four different malts. A single hop, sing, uh, single, single yeast, yeast, and then four, four different, different types of adjuncts. <laughs> That's how you say it. Is it? <laughs> There's a lot. Adjuncts. I've never been good with words. <laughs> so, oh, oh, there it is. Think trail for a cat call. <laughs> hey, Matt. What's up? Want to drink some beer? Hell yeah, dude. Let me try that. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Ooh, it smells like sweet potato for us. Definitely sweet potato. Like a twice-baked sweet potato, I think. Like you got oh, Sweet potato, molasses, spice blend, and then... Flaked barley. There's a lot. So, it's it's what they're going for, honestly. Uh, around Thanksgiving time, I would definitely yeah get this beer for sure. Like it's good. You you can definitely you can definitely taste that they they put time and energy right. into this beer. But yeah, I mean, I mean, 
I like it a lot. That's pretty good. I give it a. What do you What do you do? I give it a uh, four out of five. Dentists say it's sweet, so but it's eat. good. So you know, it, it's definitely going to give you cavities, but I'd say it's a solid. So five uh, sweet potatoes. Giving it a thumbs up. I mean. It's oh, I, I get it. I see the, <laughs> I see the hand. It's a poorly drawn hand. hand. Get out of here. The hand. That's a thumb. It's a thumb. It's <laughs> Would you buy it as a, a six pack or whatever? <sighs> I'm sure I have, a but after I have, I don't think. I mean, like around Thanksgiving, yeah, I'd probably buy a six pack, but I'm not. I'm not, not drinking more than two in a night at all. Yeah, it's not a bad thing that you can't drink a lot of it. You know, it's it, you could appreciate it for what it is, and you don't need to slam a six pack of it. I mean, it's a good. It's good alcohol percent too, seven point seven. So I mean. It, our first episode kind of comes to to a close. To eh? a close. Uh, we might have deleted the first part of this video, so who who, who knows? knows? But, we're gonna have um, to redo that then. I'm Jib. I'm Matt, and we're the the beautiful, beautiful boys. boys. Until next time, yeah. Till next time. <laughs> I fuck dead cats. Get the your aids away. See you. Fuck. Fuck you. What are you doing right now? <laughs> I'd say no.